Hello everyone. In this video, I will brief you about addressing the given case problem using probability analysis. Usually, when we allocated a case problem, we write it uh, in the format of question answer, but that is not encouraged from now. I recommend you people to write it in a managerial report format, which consists of basic introduction and conclusion. Then we address all the questions that are given. All right. So let me start explaining the situation here. There is a mall, auto mall, which consists of a certain number of uh, salespersons. And it is identified that on an average, on a busy day, on an average, 6.8 customers will arrive each hour. The salespeople who are at the office should address those customers so that the sales happen for the organization. Okay, so based on that, the manager want to review their strategy and they want, they expect that at least the performance of the salespeople and addressing number of customers is accord at least 90% accurate as per their plan. That is their main concern. So here, there are some questions that were given that should be addressed and properly answered so that they understand what is the minimum number of salesperson that should be implemented by the organization so that they can achieve at least 90 percent accuracy in serving the customers okay this is a brief introduction so let me start understanding the first question is we should speak about how the data should be distributed so that we can answer it in a proper manner related to that the first question so the first one is how is the number of customers who arrive in the lot on a Saturday morning, like when the people are arriving in the mall. So how they should be allocated in what, using which type of distribution it should be allocated. So mostly like the answer is poison distribution that we use usually like to segregate people and ensure that efficient uh, services offered to the customers. OK, so the first uh, question related answer is poison distribution. I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you about the structure first. So this is uh, the report format. I already formatted in APA 7. So here, the first thing is like we are supposed to give introduction to the given case as it was explained to you. So you should speak about the what is the case and what it is expecting from uh, addressing all the questions. So then the first question, distribution of the customers. We understood that uh, the customers come to the store like maybe one in a go or one after the other. So we are supposed to assign one salesperson to the customer. So for doing that process, it is very efficient if we use poison distribution and poison distribution helps us to understand the probabilities associated with uh, serving the customers as for the requirement. So here the first the answer is we speak about poison distribution. We say that poison distribution best suits for this situation because the average number of customers that arrive in a few or like on a, on one go is 6.8. So one after the one, we can allocate, distribute these customers to the salesperson working in the organization. So that should be explained here. Okay, in a brief, you are supposed to give, maybe a hundred word content should be added here. And it is recommended that you should under, try to understand why poison distribution is applied in sales area to allocate customer to the salesperson. You try to research about it and write a small paragraph related to that. That is done. Next, the second question is related to a new strategy. So it is like a, like the organization want to have five people, five, like maybe it is having a five salespeople available in the organization. Now, organization want to evaluate the performance, performance of those five people and organization performance. So now it want to understand, so what is the possibility that number of customers that arrive to the shop will be more than two of the salesperson. I means they have five salespeople, right? They want to know what is the possibility that they get seven or more people, more customers to the store. Okay, based on that, it is possible to say like whether the customers, like salespeople were able to properly serve the customers or not. To understand that, they are trying to analyze this. The question is, we want to understand what is the probability that we get more than two people, more than two, two or more people than the salespeople. Okay, we have five people, right? The probability of receiving customers more than seven, seven or more. Okay, that we should understand. So if we get more number of customers than the what we serve, usually customers will be more disappointed because 
the people cannot of the sales people cannot offer enough time to serve them okay here let us i have calculated using the excel sheet so the excel sheet clearly shows so here the average is 6.8 and the total sales people we have is 5 and uh, exceed is 2 so using poison distribution in the excel sheet so i have calculated the probability that uh, probability that number of people exceed it is 37.15 uh, percent which is very huge value means 30 percent of the people will be more like if we plan 10 people we are receiving 13 people definitely the probability is high you can simply say uh, the value the pro what is the probability that you can mention there and you can start writing the explanation so you start with a given a question related uh, explanation then you mention what is the probability then based on the probability what we understand there is a possibility of 37 means probability means 37 means it is equal to 37.15 percent okay so usually this is if we convert into percentages it is like 37.15 percent of the people more chances 37 percent chances is there that we receive more than like two or more people than the number of salesperson at the store so which is a bad value like usually like the probability of receiving more should be low to ensure that sales people working in the organization efficiently provide services all right so based on this we can say that 37 percent of the chances are there to get more customers right so it says that the salesperson efficiency will be low because of that the customers will be dissatisfied customers are not satisfied because the probability of receiving more customers is high when the customer receiving is high definitely salespersons cannot provide enough or required services as per the required services usually like we have six people and six people come six customers coming into the store we can allocate at least an hour to each customer we can explain all the features and we can influence or we can motivate them to purchase the product when we have less time now the possibility of uh, converting uh, sales visits into sales will be low understood so as the probability of uh, receiving more customers more customers is high the customer satisfaction will be low that is all about second question in the third question the manager wants to understand what is the minimum number of sales people they should initiate they should recruit or they should keep for the organization to ensure that they get better performance means 90 percent or more performance best performance it means that here the decision is like if you recruit eight people the possibility of getting more customers if you recruit more people the possibility of getting more customers should be reduced that is the basic funda here okay so we again used a uh, probability distribution po sorry poison distribution to understand the concept so let me check this one see we have if we take six people we already know that at five people we cannot achieve it next when we take six people the possibility of getting eight customers or more is 0 0.2452 which is higher value next it is when we say that if we take seven people and if we assume that customers we receive is nine or more nine or more it clearly shows that the possible the probability is 0 0.14 so it is only 85 percent within the limit within the expected limit next the value is nine eight and ten when we have sales people eight and the possibility of getting customers 10 or more when we calculate that the probability is showing 0 0.08 which means that uh, less than 10 percent of deviation than what is expected so here uh, it, it is clear that 91 percent 91.5 percent chances are there that whatever they expect means when we have they have eight people the number of customers that visit the store will be less than 10 so this is for more than 10 and this is for equal or less than so this is for equal or more than 10 and this is for less than 10 so the possibility of getting less than 10 is 91.5 percent so which is a high value so the target is 90 percent so we, we see that remaining also having good uh, percentage but here we take the first value so when we have eight sales people 
then the the possibility of uh, achieving 90% target is possible okay so what we say is here based on the question what we explain is when we have eight sales people the possibility of uh, the company is getting the achieve target is possible okay it's a, it is possible actually like that. it's quite possible because we see that uh, the accuracy the probability of getting a number of people less than two or more is high 90 percent or above i hope you understood so uh, you try to discuss about this uh, listen multiple times you will understand the concept then write a paragraph related to this by mentioning the numbers okay mention the minimum number and give reason why you say that eight people eight sales people are good for the organization then finally you just give conclusion based on all the questions what first question says so you just simply give that like in this kind of distribution we use poison distribution related to that you just make one two statements then regarding the strategy when the customers when the organization is having five sales persons what happens why that that you should give in one two lines then you try to give uh last question i address last question and try to conclude how many sales persons the organization should have that is all about case problem four all the best team give proper document and use uh, references give proper references and keep your document in kpa7 all the best thank you